Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the new fly-by-wire TCAS the A32NX in Microsoft Flight Simulator so make sure you hit subscribe down below give the video a like and of course share your thoughts in the comments below We're at Leeds Bradford today and we're going to take a short hop all the way down to London Heathrow about a 40-50 minute flight time roughly Live weather of course, and I'm connected as a sneaky beaky observer on the VATSIM network as well. So we can go and see what we can go and find along the way. Okay, so we're up and uh, in the climb out at the moment in the SID. We've got TCAS switched on, altitude reporting on. And we've got uh, everything set to 2000. We've selected TARA and all. So what exactly have the Flamber Wire team managed to add in this? They've uh, been able to add the traffic advisory logic and the enunciations alongside it, as well as resolution advisory. So both the bit that tells us where the aircraft are, if they're coming into conflict with us at any point, but also how to get out of that conflict as well. They've added both of those features, which is really cool. They've added different levels of inhibits too, so if for example we are um, below 1,200 feet above ground level on takeoff or 1,000 foot above ground level on approach and the resolution would be to descend, it won't tell us to descend because that would be the aeroplane telling us to put the nose into the ground. But they've added all of those features there, the, the, uh, the top climb, top cruise altitude of 39,000 feet, it doesn't allow climb resolution advisory at that stage either so they've taken lots of time and care into basically getting this TCAS feature right they've uh, added green red zones to the primary flight displays uh, the vertical speed displays during active resolution advisories uh, which indicate both desired and forbidden vertical speed ranges they mask aircraft in TCAS when uh, you go onto the plan mode and they also support simulation rates, so for those of you who like to blast across and do a whole load of other stuff, in fact, here's TCAS now. If I go to turn... That's now active. And look at it's doing. Clear of conflict. So it's shouted us to descend, it's put the nose down as the resolution. Love that, it's timed perfectly. Um, let's go back on to nav mode here. There we are. That was timed brilliantly. Um, so, effectively, what it's told us to do there was uh, it's noticed an aircraft flying ever so slightly to our right in the opposite direction. I've then turned in towards its path and it's told us to descend to avoid the conflict because that aircraft was 500 uh, feet above us so it's not going to let me climb into that we then got the vertical speed display that uh, gave us advisories basically anything in the red uh, puts us at risk anything in the green helps us get away from it um, and then as we passed that very quickly because it was going the opposite direction so uh, 250 knots for both of us that's 500 knots of closing speed with each other um, we got clear of that very quickly and it's then told us clear of conflict which is uh, another little feature that they've added in and then what it's done is it's allowed us to continue on our requested climb open climb to 19,000 feet flight level 190 and it's then allowed us to continue with our heading select which is really cool So loads of features with this, adds a lot of true to life realism into the Flyby Wire mod and uh, hopefully we can find a few more on the way on our little route from Leeds Bradford down to Heathrow. There's every chance of course because it, it is a short but popular route going from Manchester which we've just overflowed down to London Heathrow or Gatwick on uh, Vatsim for example uh, or even just live MSFS traffic.
there's an aircraft down below just passing right to left now of course that won't be in conflict with us so you can see here it's not listed on our decas system which is another cool feature uh, that they've added in place now we, there's every chance we won't find another aircraft along the way um, during this prescribed routing but I wanted to make you guys aware that it is a new feature we've just seen it demonstrated ever so quickly actually it, it was uh, almost instantaneous as we were climbing out on that pole hill departure from Leeds um, in conflict with some other aircraft going north so I hope you guys have found it really useful and uh, a great little video to watch get stuck into the new TCAS features uh, you could always go and test it out on, on uh, the Microsoft Flight Simulator's live traffic services or uh, all players, multiplayer within Microsoft Flight Simulator what I would say is uh, don't try this on VATSIM so don't go hunting around on the VATSIM network for people to collide into because you'll just get yourself banned uh, you could always use observer mode of course which will allow you to fly around undetected basically uh, but you're still visible to the supervisors so do bear that in mind So oh, there you are, really nice short suite, uh, almost instantaneous actually on the standard instrument departure out of Leeds Bradford, we've got a TCAS alert, so that's showing you guys roughly how it works and what you can expect, or at least a couple of the features, what you can expect with the new TCAS function within the Flyby Wire mod. We got the um, traffic advisory alert and we got the resolution as well with descent, followed by a clear of conflict. So it pretty much works that way in a number of different scenarios uh, albeit some of the resolutions will be different you might get descent you might get climb um, you can see very quickly on the PFD we got uh, the red and the green bands um, and then once we were clear we got clear of conflict so I hope you guys have enjoyed today's little video make sure you hit like and subscribe down below monitor the fly by wires discord uh, and also their website for progress updates along with their Twitter and everything else so you can find out exactly when TCAS, the A32NX, launches. Keep an eye on the channel for our upcoming live streams. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you very soon. Take care.